it's Brie Bear and today I'm going to be doing a video all about bullet journaling and basically just giving you guys some information about it and how you can start a bullet journal. This is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to be uploading the first part today and then the next part will be uploaded on Friday so make sure you check in for that. I'm going to be giving you guys the gist and the breakdown of what a bullet journal is parts of the bullet journal and why somebody would choose to do a bullet journal. I'm going to go ahead and start with that first question. What is a bullet journal? And basically a bullet journal is a notebook that you use for various different things that includes planning, organizing, journaling, doodling, sketching. Basically, you can put absolutely anything you want into a bullet journal. Um, it's all based on what you want to have in it, but the general idea is that it is a way to organize. Most people will use it as a planning system, but some people do use it with, some people will use it in congruence with another planning system for separate things like if you wanted to have a bullet journal for school and then everything else in another planner you could do that or vice versa or whatever works best for you maybe for just like collections and things like that which we'll get into in a bit but you can also incorporate things other than just planning you can incorporate collections doodles sketches you can put journaling in here whatever you want but the idea is that you don't really need like 17 million different notebooks. You can put most of everything in the one notebook and it keeps everything organized for you. So there are some different parts to the bullet journal that of course are up to you if you incorporate them or not, but these are the basic pieces that make up a bullet journal. So the first section we have a key. The key is basically where you organize all of the different icons, symbols, colors, anything that you use that has a meaning to you. And the reason that you would put this in a key is because in the future you could totally change everything that you do. And you could totally change the way that you use your key. You could use a symbol for one thing in this bullet journal and then the next notebook that you go into you could completely 180 and change everything you used. So this helps you to keep organized with what those symbols mean. So in the future, you know exactly what each symbol is denoting. The second element is the index. The index is basically where you put um, the page numbers and a title or a description of what is on that page. You don't have to index everything. You may index everything or you may index just certain parts of your planning system and it really depends on what you're doing, what works best for you. Y'all, I totally forgot an entire section to the bullet journal, which is called the future log. And basically you just set up the next however many months that you want and leave some space so you can write in anything that you need to for any potential upcoming events throughout that section of the months. The next element is the monthly log, which is basically where you log anything that has to do with that month. Um, and I will show you guys how to set that up based on the original system, but that's basically it, the monthly log. From there, you have rapid logging. Rapid logging is basically each day writing down what you need to do for that day. and. For some people, they do set up a weekly, and then for other people, they don't. But the weekly is not a part of the original system, however, a lot of people do use it. But rapid logging would just be that day, you just go down straight down the page. And you use the power much space you need, and then the next day you start right, right underneath it. So that's the basic gist of that. Aside from your planning, you also have what is called collections. And collections are basically pages where you lists, for example, wish lists, um, mind maps for project planning. This is an example of a collection. Um, the collections are basically just things that you can add in at any point, whenever you want them, whenever you need them, for whatever you need them to be and it's just a place where you can 
add in extra things that in a setup planner you don't have the space or ability to really add this stuff in. So that's where one of the biggest uh, draws of the bullet journal is, is that you can add in anything that you want. If I forgot my notebook for church, then I would just go ahead and put my notes in here. But that is the basic breakdown of the different parts of the bullet journal. So to review, you have your key, index, monthly log, rapid log, and collections. Um, and you can adjust them and add to that as much as you want, or you can even cut out pieces that you don't need. Whatever works best for you. That's the beauty of the bullet journal. I'm going to get into that last question since I've kind of already hinted in into it. Why bullet journal? Um, the main reason is just because it gives you the flexibility to make your planner whatever you need it to be. So if you don't need to use your planner for like a month because you're you don't have anything going on, then that's that's cool. You don't you don't have to worry about it, and you can always just pick up where you left off and fill in the extra space. Um, you don't have like a notebook that already has like a month set up for you with weekly and daily any things like um this is a planner that i already have and it is called the start planner and i really really love this one if you're looking for a set up one the only things that i don't like about it that it's set up in time and you have these narrow little spots where i don't have a lot of room to write so not my cup of tea um but it does have a lot of elements that i really did like like this week's top three a spot for finances, um, a spot for notes, um, tracking your water intake, your medicine for day and night, working out. Um, all those things are incorporated into this and that really inspired me because of the fact that it gave me ideas for things that I can incorporate in my bullet journal and it's something that if you wanted a set up planner and this is like exactly what you wanted then that's awesome. Um, for me though, this part didn't work out. I just didn't like it. I love the things that it incorporates otherwise, but I didn't like the time thing. It's just not my thing. So that's one of the things about having a setup planner that can be frustrating is like you can love certain elements of it, but not others. Or what if over the summer I don't even need a planner? Then I've wasted all of these pages and all of this extra space because of the fact that it's already set up so I can't just repurpose it or pick up where I left off and not waste any pages. One of the biggest draws to a bullet journal is the fact that no matter what, if you have a two year span where you quit planning and then you want to go back to it, you can pick up the exact same notebook and start on the next blank page. I could stop here and not pick up this notebook for seven years and then just turn the page and start over. Some people will have separate notebooks if, or separate bullet journals for separate things like they'll have like a work bullet journal um, and stuff like that and I will link um, Pretty Prints on Paper, Jessica from Pretty Prints on Paper, she does um, a really good video about um, doing like bullet journals for like work and then like she's a teacher so she has um, a video about that so I'll link those two below. Um, and then like Boho Berry talks about how she tried a separate bullet journal for her blog and business things. Um, so I'll link that below as well. Um, but otherwise a lot of people will, um, do different things and then you can also do different versions of a bullet journal. There are bullet journals in something called a traveler's notebook where basically you have separate little tiny notebooks within one notebook and I did do that for a while but I changed over to a bound notebook to try that. There are bullet journals in Filofaxes, there's bullet journals in Happy Planners or in planners that are already bound like a, an incorporation of bullet journaling into those things and so um, I will link videos down in the description for bullet journals like that if you're wanting to do something like that. If you want me to show you, then let me know and I will show you here on camera on my videos with my type of description of how I would approach it or different things that you could do. I can do that if you want. I'm going to be continuing, like I said, into a part two. So make sure that you subscribe and come back on Friday to see the second part of 
um, starting a bullet journal and the basic information that is going to go with that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will try to make sure that I get to those. Um, perhaps I'll add a third video if there's enough questions. Um, or if there are any questions that I really need to hit, then I may end up adding a third video to this. Just let me know what you guys want to see. And also, if you are new and you haven't subscribed, then do it. Just do it. We'll be best friends forever, I promise. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, Bear Scouts. <laughs> I need a bear necessity, that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities of life. Dash with bear necessities, the simple bare necessities, forget about your worries and your stress. I need a bear necessity, that's why a bear can rest at ease with just the bare necessities.